Osteopathic approach to the human body is very holistic to begin with. It involves all of the tissues of the body from head to toe. It involves looking at the, whether or not those tissues are in the right place, whether or not they're moving properly, and if they're moving properly, whether or not they're getting good blood supply in and out. That's really, if you wanted to summarize it into a few words, that's the, that's the philosophy of the approach of an osteopathic manual practitioner. In doing this, what we do is we look at biomechanics, which are the movements of the joints of the body. We look at things like uh, the movement of the fascia, which happens when you breathe and when somebody's blood is moving properly through the tissue. And we also look at things like the movement of the sutures of the cranial bones. In addition to that, we will check the movements and the location and position of each of the organs inside of a patient. And we'll match that back to the uh, actual symptoms that they came in with. So our assessment begins with a history taking. And our history taking can take up to a half an hour in some cases. This history is incredibly thorough. We want to know about injuries, we want to know about uh, compressions, we want to know about small ligaments that have been torn, we want to know about possible large traumas and surgeries and scars, and even possibly medications that a patient is on that might alter the treatment that we're about to provide, or at least look at. After we've finished the history and we have a really good idea of what the patient has been through, we want to know what they actually are presenting with now. So we go from the previous history to a current assessment of observation. We look at a patient to see where they're standing in gravity, if they're standing over to one side to the right or they're standing over to the left, which puts more weight into one leg than the other. We want to know about that because it will affect our treatment and affect what the patient's body is able to absorb. We'll check to see if they can move by doing simple tests like having them bend forward, having them bend to the side, having them drop one knee, having them uh, breathe in and breathe out, having them turn their head left and right. There's different things like this that will allow the uh, the osteopathic manual practitioner to, to gain information about the proper mechanical function of that patient. Once we've finished with our observation and we've finished with our simple mechanical tests, we'll do tests on different parts of the body that are more specific. Things like very specific tests of, let's say, a facet joint in the spine, which will allow you to determine whether or not one of the bones of the spine is moving properly. We'll also do assessment of the movement of the organs, and there's a, both a passive movement and an active movement that occurs during this assessment. So that means that the, the practitioner will be taking an organ and putting their hands on it and just listening without moving their hands to see if they can feel a passive movement. Passive means without any sort of energy added to it. And then they'll also take that organ and they'll physically move the organ, left and right, up and down, rotate it, to see if it actually moves along the axis that it's supposed to move in. But this is true for not only the organs, it's true for each of the joints. It's also true for the muscles and it's true for the tendons. So we, it takes quite a while to do this assessment. Sometimes it will take up to an hour. If you enter the student clinic, we actually offer an awful lot more time for students to learn this process. So we make sure that that's very um, thoroughly done. They get upwards of an hour, maybe even an hour and 15 minutes to do their first assessment on a patient to gain all this information. After those active tests are done, a patient will lie down on their back. We'll actually check their cranium to see if they have normal what's called PRM or what we usually use the word is vitality, which is the palpation, the actual touch of the head of the, of the patient to determine normal movement of those bones of the cranium. That'll tell us about whether the liquid is moving properly in their head, and then we'll do the same kind of assessment in different parts of the body, like the sacrum, which is in the low back, like the iliums, which are the hip bones, and possibly even maybe even the foot bones, that sort of thing, to see if this liquid movement is moving up and down the patient. Okay? Then we take all of that and add it together. So we take the history, we take the observation that we saw, we take the active testing, we take the muscle testing that we did, the organ testing that we did, and the testing of the head and the feet and the pelvis from vitality point of view. We add it all together and we develop a treatment plan. Typically, a CCO grad will, will book an hour for a treatment. Um, it sometimes will take a little longer to do the original assessment, sometimes an hour, 15, hour and a half. In the student clinic here at the CCO, we book an hour and a half minimum to make sure that we have enough time for the students to go through that whole process. To us at the CCO, the length of time is important because it gives us enough time to completely treat a patient and not partially treat a patient. For more information on this or other subjects, please visit our website at collegesofosteopathy.com.